Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to scale the given diagram without changing the dimensions. So over this screen, you are able to see one rectangle to which we have length 50 mm and height 60 mm. So that we are going to scale with respect to 2 as to 1 so that we can have this rectangle in a larger size. But while doing so, we are not going to change this dimensions. So if we just select this scale in a modified toolbar, we will have one message over the screen select object. So let's select that object including that dimensions. Press enter button. Now it will ask specify the base point with respect to where we are going to scale this construction. So let me select this corner point as a base point. Now I am going to double this drawn construction. So I have to enter the scale factor 2 over here and press enter button. Now you can see over the screen the whole construction is going to be converted into a double scale along with these dimensions. But we don't want to double these dimensions. We want to keep those dimensions with respect to the inner initial dimensions that we have given to this rectangle as length is equals to 50 and height is equals to 60. Now to have this just go with this annotation tab over here. Again you have to go with this dimensions and dimension style downward arrow. So just click once over there. You will find one window over this screen. There you have to click over this modify another window will get pop up over the screen in that you have to go with this primary units okay there you will find one scale factor option now we have to reduce this scale factor for the dimensions only so as we have enlarged this drawn construction to the scale 2 we have to keep those dimension with respect to initial dimensions we have in a problem statement. So here we have to put 0.5 scale factor so that only the dimensions are going to be the uh, to change to the reduced scale and the whole construction will remain as it is. So just put scale factor 0.5 over there and just click over this OK button and close. Now you can see over this screen. The whole rectangle is in a large size but dimensions are length is equal to 50 and height is equal to 60. So those dimensions will be the original dimensions that we have taken while constructing this rectangle initially. Thank you. Now we will see the second case in which we are going to reduce this rectangle to the half scale but we have to keep these dimensions as it is. Now again let me go with this scale in a modify toolbar. Select this drawn object. Again press enter button. Again you have to specify the base reference point with respect to we are going to reduce our whole construction. And here you have to specify the scale. Now in this case we are going to now let me repeat this. Select this scale in a modify toolbar. Select this object. Again press enter button. Specify the base corner point. Now we are going to select this base corner point over here. Like this. And we are going to scale to the half so we have to enter 0 0.5 over here and press enter button. Now you can see the whole dimensions are reduced to the half scale but we want to keep the original dimensions as it is. Again we have to go with this annotate tab, go with this downward arrow dimension style. In that we have to click over this modify option and here you have to put scale factor is equals to 2 for the dimensions. We have reduced all our layout to the half scale but we have to keep all our dimensions to the origin 
original dimensions so just put scale factor is equals to 2 over there and press this ok button now you can see over the screen though we have reduced our layout to the half scale our original dimensions are appeared over there so this is all about the reduction of the constructions with respect to given scale but we are going to keep the original dimensions as it is by these two ways thank you